Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. In this video presentation, we're going to go over a stock ranker on the candlestick doji patterns. When you put your cursor on stocks, stock rankers, find candlestick dojis and then left click. The candlestick doji pattern is basically um, a, a pattern that shows a day, if that's what the candlestick bar represents. The candlestick bar can represent a week, a month, a year, etc. But for the most part, on your daily bars, a doji is loosely translated for the Japanese as a return to home, meaning wherever the stock opens in price, it basically closes at that price as well. No matter where it goes higher or lower throughout the day, the open and the close are virtually going to be the same. And you'll see the wizards over here looking for bearish patterns, bullish patterns, doji patterns, hammers, and gaps. And you can click on the help and go to the candlestick doji help page and get a lot of information that I'll show you here in just a moment. But right now, if your uh, charts in Tom's tools are not populating as candlestick bars, they are the open, high, low, and close bars, here's how you change that. You go over to your help, you put your cursor on settings, and then you left click on general settings. When the general settings page populates, find a risk analysis page, specifically the stock chart style, left click on that drop down and highlight and click candles. When you've done that, click save. It will save those settings for you. Now let's get back to the candlestick help page. And so here we are. We're on the Candlesticks Doji help page. Pop on down below. You see some examples of what the uh, wizards will look for and how the uh, list looks when it populates. But right here, I want you to see the visual representation of these bearish and bullish patterns, these doji patterns, hammers, and so on. You've got the formulas as to how they're calculated, and that will be helpful for you as well. And then a representation of what the chart results, excuse me, the search results will look like once it's run. You can go ahead and look these over, study these as best you can, and that's a visual representation as to what the searches are looking for. Let's go to the actual searches. One of the key things to remember, folks, is um, on dojis, if you have a doji pattern for one day, uh, that signifies an indecision in the marketplace. You're not quite sure whether the trend will continue, stall, or reverse. And if you get more than one doji pattern in succession, say three, four, or five in a row, it dilutes the validity or the indication of the doji pattern itself. What's important to note is that a doji pattern in combination with another day or two, so a two or a three day candlestick pattern where the doji is a part of that, those are more significant in calling reversals than uh, three or four doji days right in a row. Again, study over the patterns and the visual representations from these help pages to help you understand that. I'm going to run the search on pennies and weekly. So let's change the stock list as I've done there to pennies and weeklies. Click on search and let's look at what populates. Right here we have MetLife, Abercrombie & Fitch, United Health. There's about five no, not about there is five stocks that meet the patterns that we were looking for let's click on the chart and take a look at what it shows and there you are there's your bullish harami and a harami is a body within a body so this candle body right here is inside the previous bearish days body and that is a bullish pattern now these are called reversal patterns so just as important as the pattern, and some would say even more important, is where these patterns are placed in the trend. They're more significant on supports and resistance. If these patterns are happening inside a support and resistance channel, not as telling. As well, if you're looking for a bullish reversal pattern, bullish reversal patterns are more significant on support because you've had a downtrend, you have a bottom in price going on, and if you want this thing to reverse, it will reverse to the upside. So you need an upside pattern or a bullish pattern. Whereas if you have a bullish pattern reversal on the top of a trend or at resistance, well, it's not really going to uh, reverse from the top. If it does, it reverses to the downside. And in that case, you'll be looking for bearish reversal patterns at resistance. Now, I'll show you a couple of examples of these as we go here. But there's the MetLife. Let's go back to the list. Let's click on Abercrombie and Fitch. There's the chart for ANF. All right, here's a situation where we have a bullish harami, a bullish body inside a previous bearish day body. But is it happening at resistance or at support? 
or is it happening somewhere in between? If you take from you know the January 12th start date, we've been in a downtrend. We reversed that off of that to a certain degree, and here we are just kind of meandering sideways. So this bullish reversal pattern really doesn't have as much significance as if it were to have happened on the support area or at the bottom of the trend. So I don't see that as being too telling. Uh, if we look at United Health, let's see what that brings. Same thing. We've got an uptrend, and it came off the t the double top area here, and it's catching a moving average as a support. But again, not too telling because this bullish reversal should happen off of a support or at the bottom of a trend. Let's look at one more Valero and see what we got. VLO. Well, there's the uptrend overall. There is a retracement and a buy signal given by the darknet tools in a rush to the upside. But right now, is this a bottom with this bullish Harami pattern? It would be more significant to me if it was doing this bullish Harami pattern at this previous support area, this previous pivot. So again, folks, I'm not seeing too much of a clear indication of these bullish reversal patterns happening at support at the bottoms of the trends. The formation is there, but again, where they happen is just as important as to the fact that, this, that the pattern is forming. I will continue this discussion on the next video presentation regarding candle stars. That's it for now. Thanks.